Hey everybody, it's James from the Delta's Nest. Uh, it's Thursday the 28th. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I learned how to edit. But seriously, you guys, um, welcome to the Dorm Room TV. Uh, this week I'm going to be talking about making friends. As you may have already guessed, making friends isn't the easiest thing to do. Especially if you go to school out of state and the only person you know is your roommate, and they're not there. David. Nah, that has nothing to do with it, actually. What does matter is the people you choose to talk to, or avoid. Like I said in my first video, um, you should probably avoid toolish looking people. You know, the people with the, the shorts above the knees, colored shirts, like so. Um, and flip-flops, because they're probably part of a frat, thus assy people. You're going to be loads of people in college, and the people you become friends with aren't always the people you'd expect you'd be friends with. Now's the time to start broadening your horizons. You know, don't, don't base whether you can have a friendship with somebody based on the way that they look, or the way that they act, because they can be completely different people when they're not around lots of other people. Unless they're frat bros! It's always a good idea to talk to the people in your classes. Um, it's helpful if you miss a class. Not saying skipping class is alright, but if you miss a class, it's always good to have somebody who can get you the notes or who, who you can even study with. Oh, another thing? Yeah, don't be afraid to talk to your professor. The better you know your professor, the more likely it is that they'll like you and um, it's actually easier to get better grades if they like you, believe it or not. If you know your professor and you miss a day, they're more likely to be a little bit more lenient with you. Um, they might even give you the notes for that day. Uh, also, they tend to be nicer to you in class if you know them. For example, my first week of school, I uh, actually missed my chemistry lab which turned out to be a really bad idea because he was upset with me because I didn't let him know that I wasn't going to be in class and I had to check in and do this safety seminar thing and well to make a long story short I didn't really get much out of the safety seminar the shortened safety seminar and I forgot to wear long pants to my first actual lab and I was kicked out as a result that next week, um, I emailed my teacher. I mustered up the strength to email my professor. And when I got into lab the following week, uh, he was actually extremely nice to me. And he apologized for being so strict. Well, I'm just about out of things to say. I hope you enjoyed my video. It took forever to edit it. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, Ian. Night, everybody.